Hello guys, this is Huzafa from Asus Pakistan. Today we will be doing the unboxing video of Asus Z170 Pro Gaming motherboard and a short overview of the key gaming features in the mainstream motherboard. Okay, let's check what we have in this box and what is mentioned on the box. Okay, fine. Okay. Do it. This motherboard has been, has been bundled with the World of Warship game with a 15 day premium co pre pre premium account a nice graphics on the motherboard this is the LGA 1151 sub the motherboard is with support of LGA 1151 socket and the windows 10 ready let's check what mentioned on the back side of the box okay a motherboard layout with the key components man uh, identification on it and a back panel IO the key, fe key features and the specs mentioned on the back box. This motherboard is with the Intel GameForce 3 technology networking card, Ethernet card, Gigabit Ethernet card, and a Supreme FX audio with a Sonic Radar 2 Gamers Guardian, which is in 5 way protection. The DRAM overcurrent, ESD, DGVRM, stainless steel IO, and high durable components in it. This motherboard is with the USB 3.1 Type-A and Type-C ports. Now let's open the motherboard and check what we have inside it. Let's take out the motherboard first. First we will check out the package contents of this motherboard put it aside okay this is the back panel IO shield with a pro gaming graphics mentioned on it it's a nice labels IO shield this is the anti-static cushion a corrosion free cushion Sometimes we face out that our IO ports have some rusty areas and the oxidization. So this material will help us to uh, avoid those types of conditions. This is the NVIDIA two-way SLI bridge with a Republic of Gamers mentioned on it. Now this small bag has the M.2 SATA screws which can be mounted on the motherboard of different sizes of M.2 SATA now this is the first time that ASUS has bundled the CPU installation tool now this tool help us to mount the CPU without damaging the socket pins it's very easy to use and just we have to put it the CPU in this mounting kit and place it on the CPU socket and we can easily mount the CPU without any complications or any accidental damages now these are the SATA 6G cables we have four cables inside the motherboard so it's good we can easily connect the four devices with these mother SATA 6G cables now this is the, uh, the stickers labeled uh, labeling for the hard drive and ODD cables as sometimes we have multiple hard drives in our system and some have some backup primary storage and like that and for the windows installation so it's really hard to find out the which hard drive cable is going to uh, is mounted in which hard drive or in which motherboard port so it's easy to get labeled the each and each SATA cable with a specific hard drive which we have preferred in it now this is the drivers disk Z170 Pro Gaming drivers disk with the Windows 10 drivers ready support in it and a nice powered by ASUS sticker it is getting moved everywhere it's a nice powered by ASUS sticker on it now, this is the user guide Z170 Pro Gaming user guide. In this user guide, the complete details of the motherboard specification, 
memory QVL support and the CPU installation, memory DIMMs selections and configuration of dual channel, quad channel and everything and the detailed BIOS interface is mentioned in this user guide. It's a very good user guide in which you can get have the complete overview of a motherboard. Okay, now as we have finished the package contents check or checking. So we now comes the short motherboard overview. Let's first take out the motherboard from the anti-static bag so we can have the better view. So this is the Z170 Pro Gaming motherboard. It's a very nice and a nice graphics on these heat sinks. Okay, let's start with the CPU area. This is the LGF1151 Skylake 6th generation CPU socket within support of Intel i7, i5, i3, Celeron and Pentium CPUs of 6th generation. This motherboard has an 8 phase DGVRM power design, the 8 pin EPS connectors, ETX connector and the 24 pin uh, ETX, ETX power connector. Now we have 4 DIMM slots with 64 gig of RAM support up to 3400 OC capable. So we can have we have the 2 1 uh, memory in DDR4 from 2133 MHz till up till 3200 megahertz. So we can easily overclock these me memories and also this DIMM DIM all support the XMP profile. So it's easy to get over to get overclock the memories at the appropriate frequencies. Now this is the CPU uh, this is the CPU fan op, uh, fan connectors the CPU fan connector and the CPU optional fan connector. Now these two fan connectors this time they have given the two fan connectors. It's very easy to mount the if we mounting the hydro cooler in which we have a one connector for the radiator and the another for the uh, radi uh, radiator fans so we can easily connect the bo both things with uh, in it and we can get easy control of it now this is the USB 3.0 the USB 3.1 front header with an uh, support of two front panel USBs the chases fan connector one chases fan connector is over here and one chases fan connector is over here. This this is the Intel PCH Z170. Nice graphics on it and a good quality heatsink. Now these are the SATA connectors, SATA 6G connectors. We have four SATA 6G connectors and one SATA Express connector, which support the 10 GB per second data transfer rate. Even we can use these two connectors as a no normal SATA 6G ports. Now the design of the SATA ports is very useful that when we having the SLI we, we are and the ports direction is on the vertical side. So it's very hard to plug in the SATA connectors or unplug the SATA connectors. So by this right mounted SATA connectors it's very easy and you have use, uh, easy to assemble, uh, unplug and plug the SATA connectors. Now this is the M.2 SATA port. This port supports 32 GB per second data transfer. The, the, it has a different size. It can support the different sizes of M.2 SATA. The front panel connectors of the LED, HDD, power connector, reset connector and the audio connector also. The, for the motherboard memory beeps and the error beeps. This is the fan extension port. If these, uh, there is an add-on module of the fan extension as a fan extension card in which you can mount the different chases fans in it and have a PVM control, power control on, on, on all those fans. So this is a good thing that they have given the extension fan connector in it. USB 3.0 
front panel headers which we can connect the four USB ports from these front panel headers. Now this is the ROG extension connectors. Now first time in a pro gaming motherboard they have given the ROG extension connectors through which we can easily connect the ROG front base which is provide uh, which can be available separately. So we can have the one of the feature of ROG motherboard in our pro gaming mainstream motherboard. This is the TPM header. For the better view, let me change the direction. This is the TPM header. TPM header, the COM port header, and the AAFP front panel audio header. Now, the, this is the audio red, higher red highlighted, the audio shield with a Supreme FX audio. 8 channel audio this is the 7.1 surround system it can easily support it in it and it is a shielded so the no noise isolation is very good with, with it now this is the pcx express pcx 1x we have a 3 pcx 1x and a 2 pci 16x slot in a dual mode it runs on the 8x and on a single mode it runs on the 16x the another one is also the pci uh, 16x but it the run it runs on the 4x mode so we can, if we have the M.2 HyperKit cards, we can easily mount it over here. Now let's come to the back panel I.O. Now let's check what we have. Okay, this is the PS2 keyboard mouse combo, combo port, the USB 2.02 ports, display port, HDMI port, VGA port and a dual link port now we have four USB 3.0 port Intel GameForce 3 technology uh, gigabit Ethernet card 8 channel audio with a color uh, specified pins on it so it's very easy to identify the pins the SPDF output for the digital systems and the home theaters now we have first time the USB 3.1 at the back panel the USB 3.1 type A and type C so we have both at the back panel so it has a good feature and I think every ports we got it in a single motherboard in it for 4k display we can easily use the display port in it for a dual link DVI we can use the DVI ports in it and HDMI is an op, op. HDMI 1.4a we can have the full HD features from it Next, have a view from different angles. Let's check what is the thing, how the back layout is. Now the now the placement of this M.2 socket is very hand hand useful. That when we are doing the graphic as in a girl, put the have the VGAs in SLI or a single VGA in some of the models in a competitors they have a m.2 so so socket over here so it's very hard to easily plug and unplug the m.2 so uh, SATA so it's very useful we have it over here it's nice and clean and we can easily mount or unmount the m.2 SATA from it now this motherboard has the overclocking technology features like the like the extreme tweaking and the TPU and the extreme tweaking through the TPU features. Now we some now we can now we some elaborate the audio features of it as I have mentioned earlier that it has an illuminated red lightning red line shielding, the EMI protection over here and a 300 amp amp headphone amplifier in it. It's a good amplifier in it. We can have a crystal clear sound and it in a in gaming, we have a good uh, sound effects of in the in the gaming environment also. 
now as it has in one of the feature of the ROG which is a sonic radar 2 which is easily for easy for us to locate our enemies and the competitors in the gaming environment so now next come to the ethernet it's a gaming ethernet with a game first technology and a, and a LAN guard so when we have in some cer certain cases we have an overcurrent voltages coming from the LAN card or any or from the Ethernet wires and everything. So this ga gamer guardian and the LAN guard guardian help us to avoid those electro ele electronic issues. Now there is one more thing, let me have some view. Now these are the LEDs which, which can have, which have the breathing effect along with this audio shield. So these LEDs have the breathing effect with it. So it's, it's up to you that if, if you want a still effect or a breathing effect or you want it off. So it, when, when a system is on, it's give a good lightning effect on the overall chases if you have a transparent chases and like that. So it's very good to have a lightning effect in it. Thank you for watching us.